Hey there, Kimara here, and I'm gonna give you a tour of every piece of equipment in my studio, and I'm gonna link all these products below in my Amazon shop. So let's start with the acoustic stuff. I've got these PVC pipe material uh, diffusers, which I got from Art3D on Amazon, as well as these wood slat panels, also from the same store. This tapestry I'm kinda over is from Society6, and I got this mirror at Target. <laughs> I don't really know a ton about filming stuff, but I like this light a lot. This is called a soft box and it has this like honeycomb mesh. It kind of like diffuses the light so it's not so harsh. We are filming with my iPhone 13 on a DJI Osmo. Is that what it's called? A uh, gimbal. Clearly I went for a white theme. I have this super cheapy studio chair, not a studio chair. It's an Amazon chair. I do love my matching HP monitors. I have the same monitor, just bigger out here uh, versus the one in here. I'll link that below. I'm pretty proud of this like palm frond thing. I put like wire to like hold them in the right position. And I think I found this pot. It's like wooden sort of in this like basket and this like, I don't know what to call that, like ceramic jar thing at a uh, home goods. I bought the palm fronds at Michael's. Oh yes, by the way, this is also my cat's um, apartment. Her actual scratching post, but she likes to think her scratching post is my lovely vocal booth. As you can see, she's definitely scratched this up. Is this a claw? Ooh. Oh, moving on. Just to finish up on acoustics, I do have this suspended four foot by four foot panel that I made and you can go to my blog and get the direction on how to make these yourself. Up on top of my booth is where I keep all my junk, as you can see. But yeah, just to give you a brief idea, I just went to like a local um, insulation place, people who do insulation for houses, and I just said, hey, do you have any two by four foot panels of Owens Corning and they said yes and they would sell me some and I went and I picked it up in a sketchy warehouse. Then I went to a fabric store and I bought this fabric and wrapped it. Used um, Prime Acoustics stabber thingies and then they just like literally shove these into them and they're hanging from them. Before we go into the booth, let's talk about what's all on my desk. Here's my Amazon shop, by the way, I'll link it below. For monitors right now, I'm using the Rockville APM 8s and the Mackie CR3s, literally because they're white and cute. My real monitors I use if I am gonna do some mixing are the Yamaha HS8s. I don't know if you can see, but I have them resting on just like a generic ISO pad also from Amazon. This is just a generic boom arm here with the Shure MV7 just for podcasting. I guess I got a limited edition. I don't know if they are selling it in white anymore, but I got lucky. Our XLR cables, we always use Mogami. These are just some cute white generic headphones for the podcast vibes. Throughout my entire house, you will find quarter inch cable adapters everywhere. Kind of tucked away under here. This is the interface that I use. It is the Apogee Symphony desktop. I really love it because it comes with Apogee Control 2 software so I can control my gain level from inside the booth and not have to come out here and turn the big knob. This is the amp for my vocal recording mic for what I, when I'm recording songs. It's called the Manly Reference Cardioid Microphone. I use the Akai MPK 249 key uh, for any MIDI controlling I need to do. And then let's go under the hood to this hot mess. <laughs> Got my brother laser jet printer here. I use a MacBook Pro, I like to be mobile. And then I have this really cool HDMI switch, which I have two HDMI cables plugged into. One is going to the monitor screen on my desk and the other one is 25 feet long and it is going all the way around my studio and into the back of my booth so that I can see what's going on on this screen in there. I can just press this button whenever I wanna switch screens. For some reason, I can't have both screens on at the same time. Leave me a comment below if you know how I can configure two monitor screens uh, with one input because I kind of find that a little annoying, but this has been the best solution for me. This hard drive is for the archives. Anytime I wanna back up a lot of stuff, um, this is the Let's See. It's an eight terabyte hard drive, so it's really, really big, but I find it to be so slow and laggy, to be honest. Um, so I do not use this 
super often, but it does store all my like contact libraries and serum stuff. So I do use it while I'm producing at the moment and it's made it kind of slow and annoying. Blissey also has this like bright blue light that blinks all the time. So I covered it. With, I don't even, this is like a felt pad that you like put under heavy things. Works for me. What else is in here? Oh, this is such a mess, but this is like my main hard drive. The Samsung T5 solid state drive. Um, connected to this just like Belkin hub and uh, the eye lock, of course. I know it's a little embarrassing looking under here, but I do want to tell you these cable management sleeves, they're awesome. It's like a neoprene sleeve and a zipper. And I'm going to link that too, because everyone should use these. They're fantastic. Okay, that's it for the control room. We're still sitting on the floor. Before we leave the control room, I have to point out my Philips Hue lights. I freaking love Philips Hue lights. You can control the colors from your phone. You can set uh, timers every day at like 4.30 p.m. All the lights turn on. In the morning, I have them slowly turn on like kind of orange. So it's like the sunrise in my house. <laughs> Got one bulb there, strip light here, another bulb there and another bulb in that birdcage looking thing. Inside the booth, I've got one up there and one more behind my lion. <laughs> got this from my good friends at LA Vocal Booth. Again, I made these panels. They are just Owens Corning 703 wrapped in fabric, slammed into prime acoustic spiky thing. Uh, they're called surface impalers. Sounds as safe as they look. Actually, I dropped one on my leg and it freaking cut me up. Be very careful if you make your own. Okay, in the booth, I do have some Oralex foam up there, but to be honest, it's legit just like leftover from stuff I bought when I didn't know that they don't really do much. <laughs> Honestly, I think they're just cute. They absorb like a little bit of high frequency and that's it really. They don't do a whole lot. Here is my beautiful manly I love so dearly. My plosives are um, off the chain. So I actually have the Hakan gooseneck pop filter, but I also have just like a generic uh, windscreen on the mic itself just for extra defense there. Again, there's my HP monitor. My headphones I use are the Focal Listen Pros. We've got Nude Mints. Oh, I'll link those too, because if you're a singer, I actually don't use these to smell nice. I use these to open up my like throat and sinus. It's just like hella minty. When you swallow them, apparently it freshens your gut so that if you burp, you burp minty. Come around me and my breath is on point. <laughs> Apple wireless keyboard and mouse. This is another cat scratching post, but hidden behind it is some plugs. It's really dark, you can't see that, but I'm so lazy. I didn't wanna to have to like unplug things every time I wanted to turn stuff off in here. So I actually got, I don't know, what's it called? Like a smart plug. And this is like an on off remote that I like hammered to the wall. <laughs> so I can actually just hit on or off to turn that whole power strip on or off, which basically controls the lights and the monitor. That's it. Let's come back out here. One thing I also want to shout out right here is the desk itself. I designed this desk and I brought it to my dear friend Aram who helped me actually buy the wood, put it together. He did like, a, this is called an apron, I know. And then like, he put like these stretchers and um, helped me assemble it and all that. And it's just amazing, I love it. We put this awesome slidey thing for the keyboard and this is the main desk, but then there's a second table that is narrow for just pretty much the monitors. And then we made this adorable little drink table on the side because you don't want to spill anything on your electronics. Shout out to Mama Cheryl Porter. I have her warm-ups right there on my stand. This is the Sony A6000 that I use when I'm not mobile like I am today. I've got a teleprompter that I use sometimes when I'm obviously reading a script. Pretty basic ring light. Back here, I want to point out too, I also got this from Art3D and it's just vinyl wood flooring. So it's like super fake wood flooring and you know, some fake plants from Michael's. And I just think that this is like such a cute little, little nook. I hide all my junk and <laughs> boxes up there. Those are all my trumpets. That's a glyph hard drive from like 2005. This is uh, my fluid audio mic that I travel with. I also have a slate mic in that one with my Prasanas interface as well. I have a backup second mic stand. I just use the Gator like kick drum mic stand because it sits right on the desk. Ooh, this ring light is doing me wonders right now. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom, this greenish like super 1970s case is my uh, dad's French horn that I inherited. 
and I can't wait to take lessons someday. But yeah, guys, that's all the stuff in my studio. You can click the link below to look at my Amazon curated shop. And if you want to buy any of these things, then hey, I think I get like a commission. I don't know. I just signed up for Amazon. So hook it up and use my links. Also hook it up with a subscribe. Also like this video, leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite piece of gear is. And if you have a solution for me on the HDMI situation, that would be cool. I'm constantly evolving my studio. I'm always adding new furniture and fun stuff to make it cuter and cuter but it's super functional and I love it and this is where I make my living entirely if you are a singer and you want to learn how to make a living singing from home in your own home studio I've got two awesome playlists for you to check out how singers can make money without performing live where I talk about demo singing acapella licensing sync licensing stuff like that but then I've also got a learn how to record playlist as well as an entire start to finish course for free because I believe that every singer should have their own recording studio at home, be self-sufficient. It opens so many doors. So subscribe and check out all my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one.